With almost 500 sessions at Next 2018, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see Beyond Corp, Beyond Google, then stay tuned because here's the rewind. If you're a large scale company with lots of employees, devices, and applications, then chances are your IT department talks a lot about security. And it's understandable, given our technology age, there's lots of attack vectors to your company's data. This is why about 10 years ago, Google decided we wanted to get rid of VPNs. Deciding that no network was actually safe and the only way to improve security was to evaluate each request as it happened. And this was the beginning of Beyond Corp. At its core, Beyond Corp is comprised of three things that the enterprise can control. First, policies that let you define what and who should or shouldn't have access. Second, the set of attributes about the specific request giving you important context. And third, applications and data that need protecting. With this in place, Beyond Corp lets us ask various security questions per request at various stages. For example, is this employee a real user? Is the device they're using known or has it been compromised? Is the network path vulnerable? And finally, given all that data, should the user be allowed to access the applications? This is done through a set of four main tools. First, the identity tools, which let you do things like keep a database of users, their job roles, and their access levels, along with the ability to have secondary credentials and short-lived sessions. Next, endpoint verification, which boils down to having a database of your devices, understanding what operating systems are supported, and what device information can be used to make access decisions. Then there's the identity aware proxy, which allows admins to configure which people have access to which applications. And finally, the control engine, which contains a list of these items matched up with buckets of access that allow for easy scale to thousands of applications in your environment. But let's look at something a little more specific. Let's say an employee is sitting inside Google's headquarters. At the identity level, we know it's Sophia, and they're logged in. We know the MacBook because we have its device ID, and then it's running the right operating system that we trust. We also know they're coming from the right IP, and then it's a corporate device. So we know they can access the data they need, and the proxy applies that policy. This person on this device has access to the bug systems and the admin tools. What's interesting is how this changes when Sophia moves to the coffee shop. We still know it's Sophia, but they're using their own tablet, which we don't know anything about and don't trust the operating system. Our rules engine then notes that in the current state, Sophia can't access the bug system. But in that current state, Sophia can access some systems, like calendar and email, giving us the right level of access to the person and security to the corporate data. If you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.